Hey guys, my name is Kendrick and welcome to Travel and Live Free. In this channel, our goal is to help fellow Canadians save money on travel. We will also be covering the topics on how to travel around the world as a Canadian and we're also going to cover the topic on how to earn income online as a Canadian so that if you want to keep traveling and you don't want to go back home, then you can do just that. Now in this video, we're going to cover the topic on how to use the Eurorail Pass. So back between 2016 and 2017, I, I got a chance to take a year off to travel around the world. And for three months of that time, I was traveling in Europe. I realized that because I was going to be traveling in Europe, that I'm going to be using the Eurorail Pass quite a bit. So I decided to record myself when I went to some of the train stations and kind of do like a live tutorial on how the Eurorail Pass work. However, at the same time, when I came back from traveling, I also recorded myself making a guide on how to use the Eurail Pass. So in just a moment, you're gonna see my tutorial video. I made a video back in 2017, so it is a few years ago. I look a little bit different, my hair looks a little bit different. But without further delay, we're gonna go ahead to that video right now. Hi there, welcome to the tutorial for how to use the Eurail Pass. Now before I jump in into the tutorial, I just wanna ask you a serious question. Do you really want to use a Eurail Pass? Now, one of the reasons why I asked you that question is because there are other means of transportation in Europe that might be cheaper than using the Eurail. Now, when should you use the Eurail Pass? Well, if you're planning on traveling really fast and you want to be comfortable and you want to have an enjoyable ride and you are in Western Europe, then I think the Eurail Pass is definitely a good value for you. However, if you are taking your time, you're going from one country to the next, and you're taking your time when you travel, you'd rather get a more in-depth travel as opposed to fast travel, then you might be better off just taking the bus or paying out of pocket when you take the train. Now, <clears throat> the trains in Eastern Europe are super cheap, and you can get them for about 5 to 10 euros, so you don't really need a... Eurail Pass in Eastern Europe. The only place I can think of in Eastern Europe where the Eurail Pass would be useful is probably Greece. But outside Greece, I think Eastern Europe is quite cheap that you can pay out of pocket and you're going to save a lot more money than to use the Eurail Pass. Now in Western Europe, it's quite expensive to actually take the train. I believe in Germany, it's about like 80, 80 euros just to take the train from one destination to the next. So it might not be the best value for you to use the train pass if you are in Germany. So the best way to answer this question is if you're in Western Europe and you want to travel fast and you want to be comfortable and you want to enjoy train travel in Europe, then do go use the Eurail pass. However, if you're just traveling in Eastern Europe or you want to travel slower, then you're better off paying off your pocket or taking a bus. One quick tip in saving money when you buy a Eurail pass is if you're over 26, then you have no choice but to purchase the first class pass. But if you're under 26, then you can get the second class pass. I think the second class pass is a lot of a better value just because it's so much cheaper and there's not a huge difference between first and second class. However, if you take the train in Switzerland or Austria, Germany, uh, there is a big difference in first class and the first class are awesome. So I would definitely recommend taking the first class if you are in those countries, just for the experience itself. Um, also, usually after the peak season is over, so around October to December, or maybe a little bit after that, uh, if you go to the Facebook page of Eurail or you just surf Facebook, Eurail will usually offer some kind of discount. So that's what I did personally because if I had purchased Eurail Pass and I did not get discounted, I would have paid $2,000 for a two month global pass, which means two months unlimited usage of your rail pass. So because I got it during a discounted period where I got 25% off, I ended up paying about $1,600. So it's a $400 savings in my part because of because I waited for the promotion. So just do keep that in mind when you're buying the your rail pass to wait for the promotion period. Now, in part as part of this video, as we go along, you're gonna see me doing a more live tutorial because I'll be showing you when I actually took the train and how I used the app to find the train and find the routings that I needed to get to my destination. So that's quite cool 
uh, you'll see that shortly. But before we go that, uh, to that part, I just want to show you uh, this reservation ticket here. So I'm not going to cover this. I'm not sure if you can see it actually. Might have to go closer. There we go. So if you take the train in certain parts of Western Europe, such as France or Italy or, or uh, Spain, then you do need to make a reservation, and the reservation tends to cost between 10 to 20 euros. Uh, Switzerland is the most expensive. I believe I paid 40 euros for one of the reservations, which is ridiculous. So, and that's on top of what you already paid for your Euroil Pass, so it's not cheap. So if you're traveling in those places and you want to save money, don't take the high-speed train because they usually require a reservation. Go take the regional train instead, and that's going to save you some, some money. Um... Now, in Germany, usually the high-speed trains, you don't need a reservation, which is awesome. So, um, in, in, in that case, it's it's pretty good. Um, the only place that I took the URL where they actually serve us food was in Scandinavia. So, in Scandinavia, I got an actual meal. So, that's that's pretty awesome. Um, anyways, moving forward. Um, when you make a reservation, you need to go to the office of the URL, usually. Um, you can reserve online, but it, there is a certain lag period so about two to five business days before they will issue you the ticket but if you go directly to the URL office or the train office where you are purchasing your ticket uh, you can make the reservation on that same day do keep in mind if you travel during peak season you might not get a spot on the train like I had to experience a few times or they might bump you to second class so even though you have a first class pass you will still have to ride on second class when you get uh, you, when you make a reservation in for your train pass, they will give you a slip. Okay, so this is this is the one in France. It looks something like this, and it's gonna tell you where you need to sit in the train, and it's going to tell you which train car that you need to be sitting at. So that's the main difference between taking a train where a reservation is required versus taking a train where there's no reservation required. So when I was in Germany and I took the train there and I didn't have to make a reservation, I could sit anywhere and it didn't matter which car I was in or which seat I was in as long as it was vacant. Anyhow, now that we covered the reservation part of taking a Eurail train, we are now going to the live portion of things. Here we go. Alright, so I'm now on the train. Um, I'm going to uh, Slovenia today and I'm making a quick guide on how to use the Euro Rail Pass. So the first thing you want to do is use your app. So just get your cell phone and click the Rail Planner app. So it should start opening up and once you got it open, then you can go search where you want to go. So in my case, I'm going to Slovenia. Okay, so next I am going to take my cell phone and uh, yeah, so on the first box I put Constance, Germany because that's where I am right now. I'm currently in Constance. So if you want, you can just select that. And next I am going to Slovenia at the capital city, which I can't pronounce, but you can see it right here. And I put now because that's when I plan on going. However, if you want to go on a different time, you can just come here and select. So. Um, I originally I put it for 7 a.m. for today on the app okay and then I will do a quick okay and let's do a search okay there we go so we have several different options that we can take to go to Slovenia but I'm gonna go for this one the 703 one because that's what I wanted to do and my connection looks like Constance to Zurich Zurich to Schwarzat St. Veit. I can't pronounce that. And then from there, I'm going to, from Schwarzat to Village in Austria. And finally, from Village to the capital city, city of Slovenia. Okay, next, I need to copy down all this information and put it in my Euro Rail Pass. So I just need to open this. So I've used the train quite a bit, so you can see I've already uh, filled up most of the spaces. But what I'll do is I'll take the second page that I just printed out, 
from the website. Okay, and the first thing I need to do is put the time and the date. So today is, let's see the date today, 29th of August, 2017. All right. So, so on this box, I'm gonna put 29th August. And I'm leaving here at 7.03. So here I will put 7.03. On this box, where it says from and to, I will put from Constance to Zurich. And I'll X this box because I'm taking the, the train. All right, so now I've recorded my first segment. Um, my second segment is this one, so I can also write that down. Okay, and I'm leaving Zurich at 8.40 a.m. Das Zugteam der SBB begrüßt Sie im Interregio nach Kreuzlingen, Weinfelden, Frauenfeld, Winterthur, Zürich Flughafen, Zürich Hauptbahnhof und wünscht Ihnen eine angenehme Reise. Nächster Halt, Kreuzlingen. The SBB Train Crew welcomes you on the Interregio to Kreuzlingen, Weinfelden, Next I'm going from Winterthur, Zurich Airport, Zurich to Main Village. Station and wishes you a pleasant journey. Next stop, Kreuzlingen. village okay also taking the train and finally my last stop is from village at 1653 going to the capital city of Slovenia All right, so I got it written down now, and I'm ready to go. Okay, and after you fill up the form, make sure you show them this sheet right here. It shows them what, what kind of URL that pass that you got. So I got a two month continuous one, and I, I activated on July 10, 2017, and it expires on September 9, 2017. So I'm gonna present this later along with the sheet that I just filled out and I'm good to go so what in the train station at the top here it shows you the time of the train so 703 for Zurich HB okay once you see that look for the train car that is designated for you in our case we need to take the first class train because I am over 26 and I can only buy the first class train pass so this is second class because there's a number two up here so that means I cannot be here unless I have the under 26 year old URL so this one says first I'm gonna go in press this button right here it will open now because this is not a reservation train I can sit anywhere that is vacant however if this is a reservation train then you must sit at your designated seating spot The next train we're taking is at 8.40 a.m. going from Zurich HB to Grass HBF, stopping at Schwarzsat St. Viet. Okay, we're now in the Zurich train station and it says 8.40 Grass HBF. Gleis is the platform number and number 9. Okay, and up here it says number 9 at the platform. This is where you're going. 
My next train leaves at 15.11 from Schwarzat, St. Viet, going to Klagenfu, RT HBF, and stopping at Village HBF. It looks like my next train is at 15.11. Platform 3. Okay, I'm now in platform 3, waiting for the train to arrive. Final train leaves at 16.53, going to Zagreb and stopping at Vinya. Okay, look at the train, it says 16.53, Zagreb, Klavi, Kolod, platform 3D slash E. Okay, I'm on the final train now, going to Slovenia. I hope you enjoyed the guide and good luck to you. So hey guys, I hope that you found that video helpful. Don't forget to go to the description below and sign up for a travel and live free newsletter where you can get the 10 step cheat sheet on how to travel around the world. You'll also be getting regular newsletters with behind the scenes information on how to travel around the world as a Canadian, how to save money on travel as a Canadian, and how to earn income online as a Canadian. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments below, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.